hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to discuss how we can delete all the records of a table in ServiceNow very quickly and we are going to see the functionality of easy import means how we can easily import the data into a table of ServiceNow okay so let's assume that we have to delete all the records of incident table okay now we are going to see the approaches through which we can delete all the records of incident table but they are not very quick okay so let's see the approaches so firstly what we can follow is that we can go to the list of incidents and we can select all the incidents by clicking on this checkbox okay and we can take actions on selected rows click here and delete the records okay but with this approach we can only delete maximum of 100 rows at once okay as of now we can see there are 10 rows available or 10 records visible to us so only the 10 records will be get deleted by using this approach okay although we can customize the number of rows to displays on a particular page we can display up to 100 rows or 100 records so we can delete up to 100 records at once by following this approach but if you have like thousands of records then you have to follow this approach to delete other 100 records then other 100 records and so on and how you can customize the number of records to display in the list view is that you can click on list controls icon and from here go to show options and from here you can select 100 rows per page okay so you will be seeing the 100 rows per page so if you have records up to 100 or below 100 then you can follow this approach and delete all the records of a table but if you have thousands of records you cannot quickly delete all the records of a table and the next approach will be that either we write a script in a background script okay to delete all the records of incident table we can follow that approach and it will delete all the records but sometimes it can happen that we are going to write the codes and it can be rns code okay there will be the error in the code and it might happen that we delete something else okay so this is also very crucial so if you're writing a code we have to validate the code whether it's a correct code or not then and then only we can delete the records from a table of incident now we are going to see a quick way how can we delete all the records of a table in service now so for that what you have to do is that you have to open the table record or table data means we are going to open the data of incident table so how we can do that is that we have to go back to our service now page and click on all navigation menu in the filter navigator type tables okay and under system definition application click on tables module once we click it it will give list of tables that are present in service now okay so these are the list of tables that are present in service now right now we are only seeing the 10 because we have applied that particular functionality 10 rows per page okay but there are 4476 records available in tables okay and the other way you can do is that you can use the filter navigator shortcut that is by tapping the table backend name or table system name the tables backend name is or system name is sys underscore db underscore object dot list in capital so that it will open the list of records of tables in new window as you can see we can follow this approach also to open the list of tables in service now okay let's find incident table so in the search text box of label column we are going to type incident Okay, and open this one okay now here on the top right corner you will see a button delete all records okay so with this particular button we can delete all records and in one go okay yes you have to click here and it will ask for confirmation okay you have to type the word delete here then okay then all records of your table will be deleted so we are going to delete the records 
but firstly we have to export all the incidents record that are present here okay so that after we delete it we can also import all the records back but before we do that right now we are now seeing a delete button available here so if in your instance you see a delete button available here another delete button available here do not click on that because that will not delete the records of incident that will delete the whole table incident table will be deleted okay so be very careful while you are deleting the records okay you have to click on delete all records if you see another delete button it is going to delete the table not the records okay you have to click on delete all records to delete all the records that are present in the table okay so let's quickly first export all the data present in instant table what we have to do is that we have to click on column options go to export and in XML format we have to export all the data present in incident table okay so export in progress okay export complete and you have to download this file okay so we have already downloaded it we are not going to download again and we are just going to delete all the records that are present in incident table so click here delete all the records and type the word delete here delete okay click ok now it will take time you will see a confirmation message once it is completed as you can see on the screen 42 records deleted from table incident okay now if we go back to our list of incidents and refresh the list we see no records to display okay so this was how we can delete all records in one go quickly for a particular table in service now now we are going to see the functionality of easy import how we can easily import the data into service now so all you have to do is that you have to go to the list view of the table so we are on incident list view and we have to click on column options and here you will see import xml why importing in xml because we have exported the data in xml format so we are going to import the data in xml format so we will click here import xml and it will say choose file to upload so we are going to choose our file that we have downloaded so we are going to choose file okay and upload So we can see that 42 records of instance are back okay so that's how we can use the functionality of easy import okay and it can use to update the record and plus insert the records this is a very quick message if you're working in company instances so be very careful while performing delete operations because in company instances you are working for a client always ask for confirmation for deletion from the team members validate your deletion code with the experienced developer or technical lead because wrong deletion operation can cause loss of crucial data okay so be very careful while you are performing deletion operation on company instances okay so this was the end of the video if you like this video do share the videos with others subscribe the channel for more videos like this thank you for watching this video bye bye